Hey guys, Zillard here. Back with another review. Today we're looking at the Hot Wheels Halloween Target Exclusive 5 Pack 2011. Now I do have a box still. Uh, okay, where the did I put it? There it is. Ah, this is the much better 5 Pack that I have. I have two. This is the... I like this one more. The other one had, uh, cool models. But this is where the paint apps thing comes in. Turn that down a little smidge. There we go. And uh, here's the box. Slots for all five cars. You got Bone Shaker there. That was released in the recent one, which I think is a lie. And then on the side, you have a. Uh, oh, well, you can't see that. I'm shoving it in your face. Okay, let's just do this. You got a ghost and a skeleton in the window. And on the other side, you have a pumpkin and a, one of the big four of Halloween, Frankenstein. There. And then on the back, it shows you a poster. On the bottom, it shows you some random crap. And on the top, it shows you the names. And the names are... Well, first off, it says Halloween 5 pack, and in this pack you get Rigor Mortar, Double Demon, Victorium, Fangster, and Cloak and Dagger. They are not organ- the names on the back are not organized as, uh, they are in the box, which- the way I have them organized in the box, here's how I have it. That's top, that's bottom. So, and uh, of course it always has Hot Wheels logo, and only at Target. Last year. <laughs> so, let's get a closer look at some of these cool cars. Do that a little bit. Here we have a uh, Torium. A Torium, okay. Just wanted to make sure I was saying it right. And uh, this is probably my favorite out of the pack. Because it's got that big frickin' skull on the front. And that looks B.A. if you know what I'm getting at. The window's coming off, though, which is kind of odd. I don't know if they're all like that. It's got some white walls on the bottom. It's got two little spiky things, which are pretty frickin' sharp. I don't know why. If those are supposed to be there or not. And it's got a skull with one eye. And uh, the Atorium was recently released re-released as a uh, Team Hot Wheels pack, in a Team Hot Wheels pack, I believe, and uh, also, the first time we saw this car was an Easter model, so it's nice to get a somewhat normal car, and it's got a little Halloween logo there, that's what I call it, and uh, it's pretty cool, I like this car. And then the next thing we got... Cloak and Dagger. Uh, really nice. By really nice, I mean it's kind of a Ghost Reaper kind of looking car. And it's got little logos, but I cannot tell what they are. Someone tell me in the comments, they're right there. I cannot tell what that is. I have a feeling it's probably the pumpkin. The pumpkin or the skull, that's what all these have. Or it's got its own little ghost thing. But, uh, this guy glows in the dark, and I will show you what I mean. I don't know if that's working. Here, let me see something. Close your eyes for a sec. Let's completely obliterate it with light. Looks like it's glowing. There you go. Third time's a charm. Get a good amount of glow in there. Yeah, you could see it. Now, I'm going to make an attempt to get this cloak thingy off. I highly doubt it's going to work, but let's try. Let's 
This thing he just never wants to come off. Ah, jeez. I can never get this stupid thing off. There's always a pain in the butt. Curses, Mattel. Why did you make this stupid thing so gosh darn tight? Yeah, it ain't coming off. It doesn't want to. I've tried every way of getting it off, and it doesn't want to. So, yeah, it basically has the same body as the original car, but it's, uh, got a translucent top, and it's got clear wheels. I think its pipes are a little bit of, uh, metallic blue as well. And then the next car in the pack is Fangster. This is kind of cool. It's a trans green lizard car. The eyes are actually separate pieces, which is kind of cool. And he's got lizard textures, and he's got the pipes sticking out of the sides, and he's got the little skull on the back. And, uh, he's got his tail, which goes around, kind of like, uh, well, not like Rodzilla, but pretty close. So, this is a really cool car. You know how I am with creature cars, so that's always nice to see. Especially Halloween creature cars. Then we got Rigger Motor. And some rather uh, witch vampire colors. Got a little logo in the back. I think it's a pumpkin. Let me look. Yeah, it's the pumpkin. Might be slightly recolored, but I'm pretty sure that's the pumpkin logo there. I wish I'd put something on the top. It's kind of dull. But, uh, that's pretty cool. I like the. Oh. <laughs> I like the colors quite a bit. Pretty nice. I like the purple wheels. That's very purple. Purple-ish. So that's really cool. My dad actually got the first Rigger Motor uh, Halloween car in the two-pack deal with the Let's see, this is Double Demon. Hmm. What was the other one? I don't know. But he got it with uh, the orange car. With the teeth grill. I cannot remember the name of that. But here is Double Demon. And this one has a pumpkin on it. Straight and simple. It's got two demon heads on it. And it's got the little arms there. That's really cool. I love this car. This car and... Uh, the Torium are probably my favorites. Fangster's pretty close. It's got some nice metallic on there, some nice purple paint. And uh, yeah, just a really sweet car, and it's really big too. It's it's close to, it, I'd say it's in between Vampire and Rodzilla scale. So those are some big models. Height-wise, anyway. So, that's about all I have to say for this Halloween 5-pack. I'm giving it a 12 out of 13, because that's how we rate during Halloween, with 13 there. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So, would I recommend this pack? Heck yes, I would recommend this pack. Uh, it is decently cheap. My dad got this off eBay. If I get the 2010 one, which I highly doubt I will, but... There's always Christmas. Uh, we will have to see because uh, I would really like the 2010 one. And I would probably be complete on Halloween 5 packs for, well, until the next one came out. So uh, this is a true Halloween 5 pack. True Halloween decos and true Halloween cars. So... 
it gets a 12 out of 13. Check the time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and uh, stay tuned. I got a few more Halloween reviews and hot builds coming. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I will see you later.